Um, but, you know, you can't give up three quarters of 52 in the second, 60 in the third, and 72 in the fourth uh, and expect to outscore a team when you're without, uh, you know, four of your top eight players. Did they, how much of this had to do with them ratcheting up any kind of intensity or pressure on the ball, anything that might have taken you guys out of rhythm? Well, the turnovers, you know, in the fourth quarter, you know, obviously, uh, I think Fox had 13 points in the uh, fourth. I think uh, Monk had 10. Um, and at halftime, in the first half, at halftime, the second half, every huddle was preaching to our guys, get back, get back, get back. They were just, you know, on paper, I think they had 21 fast break points, but it was a lot more than that. Um, so, yeah, they were, they were very aggressive. And I think we were up 11 with seven to go. And uh, obviously... Um, poor possessions on offense, didn't value the ball, um, missed some good looks that we did create, but defensively it was just way too easy. You know, the number of uh, easy ones at the rim, blow bys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, told our players today that, you know, we we're 5-0 in our last five, we have the number two defense. We're 8-1 and one in our last nine, we have the number eight defense. And then with the premise being understand why you're winning. Well, we didn't win tonight because we didn't defend anybody. It's really simple. Michael, you kind of just answered this question, but you've talked for years about the need to be top 10 defensively and the importance behind that. Do you feel like this group personnel-wise obviously has that potential, the big picture? Oh, there's no doubt it has the potential. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, like I said, for us to be, you know, first place in the West and uh, having beat some really good teams as of late, you know, it's because of our defense. So if you can do it for nine games, um, and be eighth with the schedule that we've had that shows it. And if you can have the, the number one clutch defense in the NBA, it shows it. Obviously, tonight was not a, a great night for our defense, and that's why, we, that's why we lost. You know, you can't rely on offense uh, against a young, hungry team that got beat last night. Coach, what, what can Bones learn from a game like tonight? Uh, I mean, he had 20 points. He had 11 assists, only one turnover. Um, had some good plays down the stretch with Nicola. Um, I'll, I'll have to go back and watch the film. I'm not focused on Bones right now. I'm focused on us and the fact that we didn't guard uh, anywhere close to where we need to. You mean the tough loss of lessons are at least learned from this. As you talk about playing defense late, uh, being aggressive all over the floor, whatever it might be, I and mean, you close with probably three or four guys you wouldn't normally close with. If you can learn something from this with this, can you accept this loss at all? Yeah, I mean, uh, failure is a gift if you're willing to learn from it. You know what I mean, like, but you have to, you know, be uh, brave enough to learn from it and to look in the mirror. And if you're willing to do that, you know, again, it's really simple. I mean, like, understand why you win, why you lose. I'm mean, literally this morning on a big screen in our ballroom, this is why we're winning. And we go out here tonight and we guard nobody. Scott, they shot 72% in the fourth quarter. 72 percent that's not a mistake you know uh so it's just you know understand that and yes i know there was no jamal murray there was no aaron gordon there was no bruce brown jeff green continues to be out so what do your job defend have some resistance and tonight obviously we didn't have that and you know give them credit you know congrats to jordy congrats to the kings but you know just really disappointing with the fact that uh, we lost without playing any defense for three quarters. And um, valuable lesson to be learned uh, if we're willing to, to see it that way. One more. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thanks, everybody.